hi everyone so this has been like really heavy on my heart so i just thought i'd just share this with you guys really quickly so like this past couple of days i've been like low-key not depressed but like i've been like in my feelings really bad and i don't know if it's because like not being in a relationship at the moment still trying to be patient or i don't know if i'm lacking pa being patient i don't know what it is or like am i just feeling like very stagnant in my spiritual life where i feel like i'm not doing enough for god or i feel like um god isn't like sending me my husband like yesterday but i've been like very like depressed and like i've like fed into my emotions by like listening to like drake etc and it has not been helping me so like i would be like dead crying at night and it's not good for me so i was reading this post that said um when you go by your emotions it's easier for the enemy to how did it go okay it said that if you allow yourself to feed into your emotions it's easier for the enemy to use that against you in a way if i if i find the picture i'll like um put it in the description box but it says something very similar to that and so i had to tell myself you need to get yourself together you need to stop you know if i'm if i'm feeling a certain way i need to pray about it stop worrying about it and i did my devotion last night um i prayed i told god how i was feeling i woke up this morning playing some like good hype christian music like i felt happy and i feel like sometimes like we're so used to just like giving into our emotions we become more depressed more sadder more upset etc but we have to like learn that um god wants us to be happy he doesn't want us to feel that way because it's not healthy for us and like it's like it's it's one thing to like do it to like feed into your emotions and it's another thing to just like listen to the music just to listen to it like just because but if you're doing it to like make yourself not feel sad but i don't know i feel like it's because we can relate to it more so it's easier for us to just like go into it but like if i'm like for an example if i'm like being um emotional about me being single then i wouldn't listen to a christian song like that's not the first thing i would do to be honest i would listen to like a song that i could relate to but sometimes we have to learn that um when it comes to certain things we have to be able to run to god first instead of running to other things i mean i feel like it's all about how god discerns you because some people can like listen to it and it's like not a big deal but some people have to listen to their christian music in order to feel whole because when something's going wrong in our lives we don't really go to like things of this world but we go straight to god so that should be in every aspect of our life we should be able to just go straight to god so yeah and like the more that you trust god when it comes to certain things the more you know happy you'll, you'll feel the more like less stress you'll feel and whatnot and i'm like really learning that because sometimes i feel like god forgets about me i feel like I'm, because I'm not doing enough, I feel like he like kind of just like puts me off to the side. But he's like showing me that no matter what, his love is unconditional. There are times that he gives me things I do not like. I don't even deserve what he gives me. Like the great things he gives me, I don't deserve it. Like I really don't deserve it. But he gives it to me anyways. And like I'm just learning to like accept that and to like try to do more for him. So that's why I'm trying to just be more in tune with spiritual my my ministry and etc. Because excuse me there's so much i have to do for him so yeah i just want to put that out there if you ever feel like you know you're not doing enough or you feel like god has forgotten about you he has not forgotten about you um i feel like the more we move away from god the more we'll feel that he has forgotten about us when it's really the other way around so the reason why i've been feeling this way is because i haven't been as close to him as i should i feel like the more i give in to my emotions the further i feel away from him so i'm learning to like just chill out you know and just run to god in, in any and in every aspect of life and i feel like it'll be very helpful to you guys so i really hope that you don't ever feel like god has forgotten about you he's always there for you he's literally waiting for you like sometimes we feel like we have to have ourselves together in order to run to god no god wants us in our broken stage so that he can help fix us like why would god want us to go to him when we're fixed we'll never be fixed you know we're always a work in progress but at the same time we have to be able to put in that work in order to progress so yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys have a great day i've had an amazing day like it's been great but 
yeah so if you ever needed to if you needed to hear this message i really hope it touched you in some type of way you know just keep seeking god actively seek christ you know sometimes we just seek christ just to seek him and then whenever we feel like we don't find him we kind of like stop but we have to like actively seek him and i promise that he'll like reveal to you anything he wants to reveal to you like whether it's what you want to do for him like when it when it comes to ministry or like whether it comes to making a big decision just actively seek him actively pray that's one thing i'm trying to learn because i pray like like in the morning at night and sometimes i talk to god in my heart but like i've seen people who like who can pray for hours i don't know how they do that because i can only pray for like a minute or two but i'm trying to learn how to like pray to god like seriously like talk to him have a straight conversation with him and then and go from there so I hope you guys have an amazing day. Don't forget to smile. Don't forget to be happy because you are alive. You are breathing. And most of the stuff we have, a lot of people don't even have it. Have them. So, yeah. Have a great day, guys, for the third or fourth time. <laughs>